And now let's program the LEGO Boost racing car using Pybricks blocks. First, you go to your Chrome browser and then I go to beta.pybricks.com. I prefer working with the latest version of it. And then here, if it's not visualized, you click here and you click on the plus to get access to a new program and you select blocks. If you haven't already, I highly recommend getting a full-time license because it's awesome. I just can't describe how much I love Pyrex blocks and you'll see why in a while. Okay, we type the name for the program lego underscore boost because we cannot type spaces underscore racing car tutorial in this case because I already have finished version there. And then you click on create. You might be redirected to your login or Patreon uh, account to login and register or purchase, but I already did it. Okay, so you have two blocks, the setup and program. Here we have to tell the program which hub are we are using, in this case the move hub. Next we have to define which motors are we are going to use. We are going to use one motor another motor for driving and we will have the right motor on A, left motor on B, but B will be reversed in direction. The external motor is attached to port D. One thing that I have to point out is that Pybrix also has a very smart functionality that allows you to control a car with very simple program but this car here is not supported by the Lego Boost Hub because it's very limited in functionality so I will have to write from scratch the whole program for it and next we want to connect to the physical Lego Hub the powered up remote so from here we go and we look for the remote control which is right here and we are okay with scan and connect now in the program I can get rid of this one now in the main program before doing anything else we have to calibrate the steering to do so we go on output we start the steer motor at 30% power duty cycle in this case the speed is not regulated we want, I want to use this because I don't want the, to stress the motor when it hits the mechanical stop of the steering. After that, I wait until the motor gets stalled. Every, th every time we have to wait for something, we go on flow, wait until true, and here we are measuring the motor getting stalled, so we have to go on the input tab, even if the motor is an output, because here I can get the stall on the steer motor. Once that happens, I want to the steer to go back to the center. So from output, I take this one, run at 500 degrees per second on the steer motor by minus 40 degrees and then hold. Once I did that, I want to reset the angle of the steering motor to zero. That's my starting position. Now, to make the program more readable, I will pack this sequence into a custom task. Here it's called task, but actually is a function. So I go here, I define a task, I call it calibrate steering, and I take this stuff and I put it here. From the task tab, I see my task here. It appears here, it's created here, so I can use it in my program in this point and everywhere else. Now, while we're here, in the meantime, I want to show you that all the blocks I'm putting here in the program are translated automatically into Python, which is very handy even for me that I know how to program in Python because in th using the blocks I don't have to remember the API, the, main, the name of the functions. There is no way you can get the syntax wrong using the blocks. That's super cool. So every time I change something, the code changes. You see? It's fantastic. And I can copy this Python code and paste it in the new program and keep editing. I cannot edit it here because we are editing in blocks mode. Okay, let's close it and continue with the program. We want to continuously monitor which keys are pressed on the remote and act 
correspondingly. So we go on the flow and now forever loop. This is a loop that keeps running forever because while true means forever and inside here I will ask myself okay which button is pressed on the remote from the flow tab I go and pick an if else block. Let's program the driving first and then the steering. So we are interested in reading the buttons, not of the move hub, which is just one, but on the remote. So I have <clears throat> the driving on the right buttons. If I click right plus, which is the up, I want to go straight forward. Here I want to add another question because I also want to check if the right minus is pressed or if nothing is pressed. So I click on this arrow and another branch is added. If, else if, which in Python translates to elif. Okay, I right click copy and then right click paste or I can just use control C, control V. And so now, okay, right plus, right minus, else. Here in the output, I want to start a motor, the right motor and the left motor at, let's say, 80% of the power, because at 100, the wheels will sleep very easily. Then I copy these blocks. I select them both using the Shift key, Control C, Control V. Here I change the speed to minus 80%, minus 80%. In case I don't press any of the right buttons on the remote, I want the motors to stop. So I go to output, pick this one, left motor stop coast. Uh, the options are brake, stop, hold the position actively or coast. Coast means just turn off the power and let the motor run freely. I copy this one, paste and change it to right to stop the other motor as well. Now we want to handle the steering according to which of the buttons on the left of the controller are pressed. So we go to flow, we take another if else block and then we expand it because we want to check if the, the two buttons are pressed or none is pressed. Then again from input I go here and take the button on not on the move hub but on, on the remote uh, on the left plus means steer to the right copy paste remote left minus means steer to the left else we want to center the steering so from the output we pick the motor block we select the steer motor and we want to move the steering wheels fast, not by, but to a target angle. Remember that we, here in the calibrate steering function, we arrested the angle, once we calibrate the steering wheel motor to be straight, we arrested the angle to zero. So we don't want to move by a certain amount of degrees, but we want to rotate towards a target angle. The angle we want to move to is 40. Here, copy, paste, we, in case we press the left minus button means steering to the left, we set the angle to minus 40 and then paste here, we want to rotate the motor back to zero, which is the straight position. Here there is no need to hold the position actively when we are done moving, but just break will be fine. Now that the program is complete, we can check the whole Python code. And from here, you can learn how to translate the blocks into actual Python code. Now, you can click here, turn on the hub. The hub gets listed here. Of course, you have to download the firmware, the PyBricks firmware on the Lego Boost hub first. Then you pair it. Once it's connected, you can download the program onto the hub. Once it's done, we have to turn the remote on because otherwise the program won't keep running so once I turn on the hub the wheels will calibrate and we're ready to go the cool thing here 
is that we don't need any device acting as a bridge between the LEGO Powered Up Remote and the LEGO Boost car, because the program is stored on the LEGO Move Hub forever until you flash the firmware or you change the program, and that's one of the coolest thing about Pybricks. And now you can program Pybricks with blocks. So make sure you get a license. I will put a link in the description so you can get your license through my affiliate link in case you want to purchase. I will get a small commission at no cost for you. So it's a win-win situation. If you like this tutorial, stay tuned on my channel because more tutorials about Lego Boost are coming. I will make sure that every video is subbed so that you can enjoy it uh, regardless of the language you understand. I will focus on Italian and English. Stay young. Until the next time, play well. Ciao.